We are back here today with the wrecked boost, putting some hours into it, putting some more, I guess, looking into it. Richard? Yeah, round number two, what yeah. Do, what do we got to do on this thing here today? Well, I think today we're doing track removal, get the drive shaft out, get all the backside of the stuff off, and just generally see what the next step is. Um, yeah. Ultimately, as much as we can get the part today and kind of figure it all out is what the plan is. So we're going to try to get the skid out here, but we have to get by We have to get this one T40 out down here that I'm a little worried about. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's work on the old Muskoka mobile here. Okay, what do we got here? Well, I think what we're gonna do is this piece that's here, we're gonna kind of fold it, kind of bring it downward to give us some access to the bolt. This that way. shouldn't be too bad, actually. No, I don't give think that so. a few whacks or yeah, so it should be good. Get her out of the way. Oh, yeah. easy, easy, easy man. No problem. Oh, yeah, we're getting access already. Oh yeah, no problem. Easy. I actually thought that would be a little more difficult. Oh yeah, I thought you we were gonna get caught up in there for sure. Yeah. Huh. Well, that doesn't look too bad. A little bit. That part's kind of straight. I'll start. I'll just kind of work the shaft out that way to you and see if you can make sure it'll clear. Okay. Oh, I see what's happening here. We gotta reposition the jack. Do a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. Woo! We're out. There she goes. So you got a nice track here at least, right? Yeah, the track's nice and straight. I mean, it looks like, you know, this is kind of right where the area of where it was and no damage whatsoever. Oh, you can probably really see what's bent yeah. from back there. You can really see what's going on here now. That whole... Kind of structural member that comes off is what took the took the impact. Oh there. yeah, you can see the you can see the twist from here. Yeah, this is what the cooler. underside of an 850 looks like. Yeah, slash tunnel, new cooler. Yep. What else do you see in there? Yeah, the, both the top and the front cooler are really well intact. And no damage at all. It's just this whole this whole piece right here that actually is all removable. That's where it took the damage. Richard, is this a P22 clutch? Yes, it is, Matt. These are the ones that to uh, like to snap in half? Yeah, those are the ones that keep blowing up on the 900Rs, but yet we're not really hearing about any blowing up on the boost that I've heard of. Oh, okay, so it's mainly the 9Rs that are blowing them up. But the clutch should be identical unless something changed for 2023 that I don't know about. So what do you figure? Hmm. Well, now it's just kind of taking a look at assessment time. Yeah. Of what the next thing, probably that front overstructure, it's got a tweak in it, it's really easy to come off. I think that's going to be the next step is just to get this removed off out of here and kind of see what's what. So, kind of being held on by this is the last last mount on this side holding it together. And then this just kind of will come off forward. Yeah, it's definitely uh, coming apart. But trying to look at everything and assess everything at the same time is, I guess, all part of the mount. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough, yeah. Yeah, it's when tough, you get something tough. this damaged, it's tough to uh, actually figure out what's good sometimes. Yeah, what the next step is and what's good. What are you thinking here? You think you got all the parts you want out of this thing for now? Well, I think we've kind of got as far as we're going to get for today. A little bit of steering here, just kind of eyeballing up to get a little bit more room in here since it's not really mounted by nothing anymore. So. Yeah, we got to keep some integrity in the chassis because yeah. <laughs> we still got to move it around the shop a little bit. We'll, we'll probably take this bolt out right here, just off this mount. And then this whole piece will just slide out, and that's probably good. Yeah, and you can see where obviously the bulkhead half was here and here. Yeah, we only have that and one half off. Yeah, of it. this unfortunately this side got broke too. But yeah, it was all all moved from there. But yeah, it's got a little bit of flex in there now. Yeah, a little bit different than it was. Yeah, what the hell is this Polaris rigid chassis? Yeah, this is no longer the, <laughs> the rigid chassis. Taking everything as assembly. Might as well, right? Yep. We can Keep all the parts together. Keep everything together. We got a nice looking skid here. Yeah, she's a beauty. So is this skid for sale or what? Yeah, I think that's what the plan is. We're gonna put the skid for sale and see what uh, 
Anybody wants her? It's a chaos skid, so it's got the tipped up rails on it, which are nice. So, yeah. This poor sled. Yeah, so we're so. basically like, what are you looking at? Like basically part out by now? Yeah, it's starting to look that way just in general because there's just so many pieces that we've taken off and there's so much good stuff. Like just guts are scattered all over the place, but all these pieces are in such good shape, all really good shape. We have that bad pipe and a few other pieces, but a lot of good ones too. It, uh, it could be salvaged, but the question is, is it worth the time and effort and can you really get it done? That's the problem, right? Yeah, it would so, be a quite the summer project. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, all these parts are for sale then. So yes. if somebody needs a part, if they can needs go. somebody a part, you can get a hold of Ben or I at Altitude, and we can kind of send you guys in the right direction with uh, all the pieces. You know, if you guys want this added piece of, you know, there's a bit of, um, we might sell some souvenirs here. There's a couple extra you pieces. You could have a connected. piece of Muskoka's sled. Yeah. And you could buy it off We've Altitude. Got a pieces on the bench here. <laughs> you know, there's some... Uh, some pieces kicking around, we might have to label them, you know, one of 250,000. All right, looks like we're gonna get everything loaded up into the back of the pickup here. Because yep. she looks like a part out. Yeah, it looks like lots of, uh, lots of pieces to load up. Take that piece right there. This piece here? This, this one here? That's the piece. This is the piece? That's the piece. Right. Put it in with the rest put of your... Put it in with the rest of the <laughs> put, put it in can the box of the truck with the rest. Can you call this a snowmobile or...? Yeah, you got a snowmobile in the box of your truck. I don't see what the problem is. I don't see the problem. And the other half of the snowmobile is inside there. Well, is that a wrap? Is that a I think I think that's a wrap. It's a wrap. We're going to go... Oh. Good thing that's not your truck, right? Hey, nobody knows that. <laughs> you leaving me a trinket? Yeah, Matt's put in so much hard work and, and really been a trooper here of, of helping us out. So oh, gonna, I get a we're gonna, piece. We're going to donate this piece. I'm going to sell this for hundreds of dollars. $100, you know? <laughs> oh, man. You know what? This section is really straight and there's a lot of stuff to work with, but... Sometimes time and parts availability is what gets you. Yeah, that seemed to be the big one here. Yeah, yeah. parts availability is a really big one. If anybody out there has a 850 with a blown motor, that would probably be in the right direction. Yep, so we, got, we got that too. 850 blown motor sleds are pretty hard to find. All right, I think we're going to probably wrap up this video there. Uh, she's looking like a part out. You can contact Richard from APS here if you're yeah. looking for anything. Uh, you can have you can have a piece of this machine all to yourself. <laughs> yeah, we can. Uh, I'm sure we can accommodate some bits and pieces. There's at least half a bulkhead that can be salvaged. Yeah, we got uh, one half of it. We got one half. Yeah. We we could probably make some trinkets out of that. Souvenirs, we'll call it. <laughs> well, the chassis is gonna live with us here for a little bit longer, and uh, that's that's basically probably a wrap on this thing. It's yeah. uh, there isn't really anywhere to progress with it, so. Yeah. That's it. That's it for today's video. Thanks everybody for watching today's video. If you like it, you can watch the first video up here where we started taking this thing apart. Uh, check out APS. I'll leave all sorts of links down in the description for you guys. And uh, you can talk to Richard and maybe you can get yourself a piece of this unit. Thanks for Matt for all his hard work too. And uh, take us on this journey together. I operated the camera the whole time. <laughs> we'll see everybody in the next one. Bye.